third point would be uh, yes as i said that uh, we make sure of using uh, quality products we make sure of using the best uh, products in the market maybe down the line i wish to see uh, scobotics at a place where um, for uh, corporate development our target audience are the companies uh, be it small startups or msmes or private firms or government institutions Uh, like they have developed the material spinning materials at once and they are continuously reusing those materials primary idea of scobotics came up like the primary business model was to teach people about robotics that is how the training firm came up i am ganeshwari agarwal from startup place and we are very grateful to have you on board with us hi ganeshwari So I would like to request you to please introduce yourself to our viewers. Thanks. So my name is Tunish Shah and I'm the founder of Scubotics. Well, Scubotics is a product and services company based out of Kolkata and we primarily focus on uh, training in the various fields of robotics, embedded systems, PCB design, uh web technologies and mobile technologies that being a part of our services. and uh, apart from that we are also into embedded development and internet of things development and we are currently based out of kolkata so that's about it and uh, personally i am also pursuing an it career i currently work at accenture technology solutions so yes uh, this is about me okay, so my very first question to you is how did you uh, come up with the idea of this uh, startup so uh, basically when i was in my uh, college uh, when i was doing my electrical engineering uh, i saw that people don't have exposure much exposure to the various resources on robotics so the primary idea of scobotics came up like the primary business model was to teach people about robotics that is how the training firm came up and uh, i started off by uh, conducting prayer workshops and trainings in various schools around me and later on upgrading it to like training the undergrad students and uh, hobbyists so that is how we scaled up our business so what was the most difficult part in the early stages of your company's growth so uh, in the early stages the main issue of our growth was that we wanted to be a services company services as in we wanted to do uh development for various clients but we had issues with funds uh, that is why we took the support of uh, conducting trainings and workshops so that we can generate funds um, on our own and uh, one major thing which we faced while we were doing trainings was the reach so we did not have the reach like uh, any medium where we could directly engage with a lot of colleges a lot of schools at one go and start our work so we had to run around a lot trying to get connects trying to get contacts uh, trying to get ourselves into uh, various institutions to even propose a free demo workshop or seminar so that was a bit of difficulty for us so sir what was the gap in the market that you identified so uh the main uh thing that we started off number one was training so the gap we identified in the market in the training market was that uh there are a lot of uh, institutes around us who are continuously uh keeping on continuing uh, reading out the old materials they are having uh, like they have developed the materials training materials at once and they are continuously reusing those materials not upgrading themselves based on the current uh, technologies that are around so our approach what we used uh, during trainings was that we continuously used to upgrade our courses so any new change any new library any new thing that used to come in the market we used to incorporate in our courses uh, that included changing anything in the hardware or changing anything in the course curriculum so that is how we kept ourselves continuously upgraded to keep our training business always up to the mark and compete with the others in the market uh, can you explain your business model okay so as i said that in the initial days uh, like our idea was to become a development company in the field of uh, hardware and software so 
we did not have funds that time so what we uh, tried out was that we opened our uh, training institutes we uh, the all the team members that we had uh, we all kind of came together with our varied skill sets and technologies and we um, started delivering various training sessions and the funds that we used to generate from the trainings we used that in our research and development uh, now right now we are address we are not only conducting trainings but we have also jumped into the market of hardware development we are doing uh, development for various uh, startups msme firms uh, even government bodies like uh, <clears throat> we are currently working on a project for jharkhand government which is a big uh, iot project and we have also touch based uh, touch based various uh, private industries like private big giants like voltas reliance energy so this is currently our business model that we have training wing as one service and we are doing parallelly uh, development in the field of internet of things robotics embedded systems web and mobile application and uh, also we have uh, since we are into the automation domain we are uh, trying our best to come up with our automation products uh, especially in the field of home automation so what are the products and services that you offer okay so uh, produ- uh, the services being uh, training uh, we conduct trainings we conduct workshops and seminars we conduct hackathons uh, that is for catering to the educational institutes now for the corporates we do development in the field of mobile apps websites web applications a uh, hardware and software combined for internet of things hardware development in the field of uh, embedded systems so one was training second was uh, development and regarding the products so we initially since we were catering to the education institutes we were building a uh, microcontroller based development boards for the students as they and we used to use those kits in our trainings itself uh, but now uh, we are currently developing various uh, home automation boards for uh, addressing the uh, consumers around us so a simple answer would be a board which allows you to control the various devices of your home with simply using a mobile app with uh, more features which is not currently there in the market so that is what we are working on currently so who are your targeted customers so uh, as i said that our business model is uh, spread over three sectors for the educational training thing our targeted customers are uh, the undergrad students hobbyists professors and um, various students of science backgrounds for uh, corporate development our target audience are the companies uh, be it small startups or msmes or private firms or government institutions these are our target customers and the product sector that we have uh, the usual general um, aam aadmi is our target so all the consumers around who are willing to you know like upgrade their lifestyle by jumping to automated products they are our customers for the product that we are building so three sectors here so uh, why do the customers choose your products and services again why do they repeatedly approach you there can be many answers to this question i believe uh, the first thing what we do is we ensure that we never uh, compromise on quality there might be some products which are overpriced there might be some product which uh, uh, there might be some products which are at par with the other products in the market but one thing surely which we don't do is we don't compromise with the quality at all even if we even if the price has to go up so that is something which we have been following all the time second is uh, we care a lot about uh, how uh, we are interacting with our clients so we make sure that uh, we are trying to establish a communicate a connect with the client on a very personal basis so that uh, the client is also uh, the client feels free to come to us with any kind of problems or anything so i guess uh, one would be building relationships and second would be not compromising on the quality of services or the product we are delivering which has been the main reason of clients coming back to us again and again so what are the three unique things that makes you better than your competitors okay so um three unique things so first thing uh, surely would be the way we connect with our clients on a personal scale 
uh, that is one definitely second is um the conglomerate of the uh, technical skills that we have our, on our team so we are, are a 10 to 12 member team where we have uh, ex- like expertise on various fields so any project that we take up or any product that we start building on uh, we make sure we always start off with a good amount of experts in the team who have a proper knowledge on the uh, um on the sub it matter so that is one thing which we ensure and um, third point would be uh, yes as i said that uh, we make sure of using uh, quality products we make sure of using the best uh, products in the market so that um, the final output that we are deriving uh, that does not compromise or get compromised so that's one thing so if it wasn't your company what would you be doing right now okay so uh, uh, as i started off with uh, introducing about my company and i said that uh, i am the founder of scubotics but parallelly i am working in a it company so it would have been an it company for me as it is right now so currently i am multitasking uh, between the two so i am uh, living my dream as well and i am also pursuing my career so it would have been the same way like my one dream shot but um rather uh, i guess the question would have been that what would you have what would you have been doing if you did not uh, pursue your career then that would surely have been my startup because that is something i started off at a very early age so 2010 uh, was the year when we started off and it's 2021 almost 11 years down the line and we are still uh, holding good we had the corona we had a lot of blockers but we are still holding good and we are holding strong so definitely it would have been my startup so what are your recent and long term plans for your startup so uh, currently we have been in talks with uh, various um, government organizations uh, regarding uh, pushing our services further uh, now whenever a company is becoming 10 or 11 year old uh, it it gains uh, uh, how to put it like it gains some sort of notoriety in the market that okay these guys are there they are performing in this particular field so that mark we have already crossed so right now we are in talks with uh, many government firms regarding automating uh, many processes around them that is definitely one uh, regarding the institutional training part that we are always in talks with many organizations we keep on conducting events we keep on conducting webinars our uh, trainings workshops so that is also going on so maybe down the line i wish to see uh, scubotics at a place where um, uh, i will not say that we are the only one in the market i would not want the other competitors to go down let them stay so uh, maybe like last year like before corona hit we were almost um, conducting trainings for uh, 6000 or 7000 students in a year so maybe increasing that mark is something definitely i would love to do i would love to touch base with more students or what i was doing previously number one uh, number two our uh, development services i wish to uh, push it forward so i obviously want to see myself as a um, as a big company uh, which everybody would uh, seek to go to for getting their products developed and i am uh, currently uh, putting in uh, some investment down for uh, boosting the uh, various uh, digital marketing so i'm 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 pursuing digital marketing services i am uh, boosting my social media interactions so let's see where it takes so my last question to you is what is your feedback on startup claims so uh, this entire concept and the activities that uh, startup lanes has been doing currently i have been going to their website um i have followed uh, mr shishir uh, for a quite quite for a long time like uh, when startup lanes was coming up so the idea is great like building an ecosystem for various startups to come uh, interact with each other and the events that startup lanes is organizing it's a uh, uh it's a great idea so it obviously will help 
lot of us who are starting like uh, okay for scobotics it has been a long time but for the people who are starting uh, it would be a great help for them as they get a platform to jump start their startups so uh, definitely a very wonderful uh, work done by uh, team startup lanes so all the best to you guys as well so concluding this i would like to thank you for your efforts for your time for your words it was really nice talking to you thank you thank you so much thank you so much